from Studio 113 in Walson Hall. This is NBC News. Good afternoon, Muhlenberg. Welcome to NBC News. I'm Thomas Rothlin. And I'm Samantha Laskin. So, Sam, how you doing with all this cold weather we've been having? Um, it's not that much fun. I fell a few times, but I'm still going. Well, feel better and uh, keep on trucking. Thanks. So what's new with news this week? Well, let me tell you, Sam. For all you foodies here at Berg, the GQ has begun to serve two new options on their spring 2015 menu. For all you meat lovers, you must try the Aloha Burger. This fresh hamburger is topped with a tangy barbecue sauce, Swiss cheese, grilled pineapple, bacon, and lettuce. This new creation goes great with a fresh order of sweet potato fries and a beverage of your choice. Additionally, for all you salad lovers here at Berg, try the Strawberry Patch Salad. This salad is made with fresh spinach, grilled chicken, strawberries, avocado, almonds, and blue cheese crumbles. To make this salad even better, it is gently tossed in a savory blueberry basil dressing. Make sure you stop by the GQ soon so that you do not miss this limited offer. Students looking to live off campus next semester must apply before the February 13th deadline. In order to live off campus, students must have a minimum GPA of 2.5 and be in good disciplinary standing with the college. Only juniors and seniors are allowed to apply, and it is highly recommended that students do not sign any lease agreement prior to being approved by the Office of Residential Services. Do not forget to attend the 14th annual Lehigh Valley Collegiate Career Expo. The expo will be held on Wednesday, February 25th from 12 to 4 p.m. at the Holiday Inn of Brangsville, Fogsville. There will be over 100 employers in attendance and the professional dress and resume is required. Finally, we are only a month away from spring break and the Office of Residential Services would like to remind students that college housing closes on February 27th at 6 p.m. Before you leave, close and lock all windows and doors, remove all perishable food, and empty all trash into the dumpsters. College housing will reopen Sunday, March 8th at 10 a.m. And your student IDs will work once again. That's all we have for the news. Now we go to Sam with the Mule Sports Report. Thanks, Tom. Last Wednesday, the wrestling team had their first home meet of the season. Ian Gimbar and Lenny Smith won their two bouts beating the defending Centennial Conference champs, Ursinus College. Ian Gimbar was named Centennial Conference Wrestler of the Week. Gimbar is now 7-0 in his first year of wrestling for the Mules. The Invitational Track Meet held in the newly resurfaced John Dietrich Fieldhouse was a, su was a successful one for the Muhlenberg track and field teams. Shayna Joseph, Vanessa Chambers, Emily Davidson, Mallory Snyder, Alex Tendler, Ashley Riley, Katrina Faust, and Michelle Gikowski all placed in second. Super Bowl 49 did not disappoint as football fans all over the country watched the Seattle Seahawks and the New England Patriots battle it out for the title of Super Bowl champ. The New England Patriots won in the final quarter after a nail-biting fight between the two teams. Katy Perry performed a show-stopping halftime performance featuring classic hits such as Roar, Dark Horse, and Firework. With special guests Lenny Kravitz and Missy Elliott, this halftime show will be talked about for quite some time. This Saturday, come out and support the women's basketball team as they face off against Gettysburg at 2 p.m. in Memorial Hall. The men's basketball team will face off shortly after at 4. The wrestling team will be having a match against Gettysburg at 12 p.m. Come out and support your fighting mules. That's all for sports. Now let's head over to Katie with the weather. Thanks, Sam. And now for the weather. On Thursday, it's going to be partly cloudy, high of 27 and a low of zero. Looks like that cold won't be leaving us anytime soon. Coming into Friday, it's going to be partly cloudy, high of 28 degrees, low of 15, a little better than on Thursday. Then we got our weather on Saturday, cloudy, high of 40 and a low of 30 degrees. And finally, Sunday, we've got some light snow creeping in, high of 32 degrees, low of 27. Make sure you watch out for that glar ice, folks. It's dangerous out there. 
All right, and heading into Monday, looks like we're going to get hit with some more snow. High of 28 degrees, low of 25 degrees, and the chance of rain 90%. So be careful out there, folks. Then we got Tuesday, partly cloudy, high of 33 and a low of 20 degrees. And Wednesday, finally, we're going to see some sun. It's going to be mostly sunny, high of 32 degrees and a low of 18 degrees. Stay warm out there, folks. Thanks. Now back to you guys. Thanks, Katie. Well, that's all we have for this broadcast. I'm Thomas Rothman. And I'm Samantha e News. Stay warm, you MBC.